Hello, I'm Professor Amanda Kirby, um, a medical director of the Discovery Centre, here based at the University of Wales, Newport. I run and educational professionals and we assess and support and provide guidance to children and families and to adults uh, of those who've got additional learning needs, including dyspraxia, dyslexia, ADHD, autism spectrum disorders, behavioural problems and language difficulties. Children with coordination difficulties can be given a lot of different names and in the UK the, the name we commonly use is dyspraxia and this is associated with fine coordination problems, fine motor coordination problems, things like using a pen, uh, getting dressed and undressed and big movements, gross motor problems such as catching a, a ball and running around and then balance tasks, walking along a wall, climbing up and down the stairs. But in the UK, dyspraxia is one of the terms that are used, and some children may end up with a diagnosis of developmental coordination disorder, DCD. And that can sometimes cause confusion, because some practitioners use the term dyspraxia, and other practitioners use the term DCD. And it doesn't really matter which term, as long as the child has been identified as having difficulties and they're getting appropriate support. And if you take 100 children with dyspraxia as the diagnosis, some children would have more of the fine motor problems, the writing and the dressing and jigsaw puzzle problems, and some children would have more of the big movement problems, the running and catching and throwing a ball problems, and other children would have more of the balance type problems. So that, it's an umbrella diagnosis under which you're going to find variability. One child is going to be different from another, and that can cause confusion. Why has my child got the same diagnosis as another child? may well be because they have a different pattern of difficulties.